My name is Dr. Ellie Pack. I'm a radiologist with specialty training in breast imaging and intervention, and I'm going to talk with you a little bit about uh, breast cancer and the role of imaging. To begin with, with part one, I'm going to talk specifically about breast cancer uh, and the role of mammography. Some background just with regard to breast cancer. In the United States, we know that one in eight women will be diagnosed with breast cancer in her lifetime, which is pretty profound. Uh, in fact, next to skin cancer, breast cancer is actually the most commonly diagnosed cancer among American women. Again, very profound. It's estimated that uh, for 2020, we will have over 300,000 newly diagnosed breast cancer cases in the United States with over 40,000 deaths. Again, profound and significant. Which is why we come to mammography. In fact, uh, since we started routine screening with mammography in the 1990s, we've actually seen a 30 to 40 percent reduction in breast cancer mortality, which is pretty significant. In fact, before the 1990s, the uh, rates of breast cancer had been pretty steady, so mammography was pivotal in decreasing mortality. I do want to emphasize that mammography is the only test, again, the only test proven to reduce breast cancer mortality. Other tests that you've likely heard about, ultrasound, MRI, for example, these are complementary, but they do not replace your annual screening mammogram. So why get a mammogram? It's pretty simple. We know mammography saves lives. Screened women, in fact, have smaller, more curable cancers, cancers that are treated with cosmetically superior surgery, as well as less toxic medical therapy, for example, less toxic chemotherapies. In fact, current federal legislation does require that all insurance companies pay or provide coverage for any woman who wants to get her annual screening uh, mammogram uh, beginning at age 40. So what is a mammogram? Well, pretty simply, it's basically just an x-ray of the breast. It's composed of four basic views, two views of each breast, the so-called CC, cranial caudal, which is that top to bottom view, as well as the MLO, medial lateral oblique, which is really that side to side view. And again, uh, we have two views of each breast. So when we look at a mammogram as a radiologist, we are able to see the anatomy of the breast. Just to sort of describe a little further, um, we know that breasts are made up of essentially fibrous tissue and glands, what we call fibroglandular tissue, as well as fat. On a mammogram, fibroglandular tissue appears white and fat appears black. We use these tools uh, and understanding of the anatomy to read that mammogram and look for cancers. Uh, in the next part, we're going to talk a little bit more about uh, breast cancer and mammography and breast density, so I hope you'll join me for that segment as well. Thank you.